Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Louis Vuitton pre-loved unboxing video. So if you do like these sort of videos and you aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. So yes, it is another unboxing video. I feel like I've had a lot of these lately. However, this is an exception because it's actually a um, bag that I bought for my mum. So without further ado, let's start unboxing this bag. So I bought this from a store called JJ Collection. They are located in Osaka, Japan. So it is a Japanese consignment store. I find that uh, Japan has the best pricing when it comes to pre-loved Louis Vuitton. They have just a mass of pre-loved Louis Vuitton bags. So. Basically, what you're probably wondering, because I've said that this is actually for my mother, you're probably thinking, why are you buying a pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag for your mother? Like, why pre-loved? Why not buy a new? Basically, the reason that I'm buying pre-loved is because I know my mother. She would not let me buy her a new Louis Vuitton bag from the store because the prices on a Louis Vuitton bag in a medium, like a, you know, a decent size, not like the pochette accessoire or something like that, like a decent size bag, you're looking at at least, with a shoulder strap as well, 1500 Australian and up and she would not allow that. I wanted to surprise my mum with getting her a Louis Vuitton bag. She currently has a Louis Vuitton um, Bria MM and um, it's a shoulder bag and it's a medium size bag. So with buying this in mind, I needed to make sure it was a small to medium size, something that she could use on a, you know, like to go to the shops, like on a daily basis. It had to have shoulder straps. It had to have a shoulder strap or shoulder straps. She doesn't like anything too small and she doesn't like anything too big. So here we have a pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag. And this is the first time I'm looking at it. And this is called the City MM, I believe. I will put the name below. So I'm just gonna reshape it a little bit. Cause it's, I don't think it's been stuffed inside. No, it hasn't been, okay. But the inside of this bag, just gonna show you because I did notice this when I bought it. It's actually made, um, like it's got the, the canvas inside. You don't see that anymore with the new Louis Vuitton bags where they've got the canvas like this. It's always like a textile canvas or a microfiber lining, you know, something like that, but not this kind of firm canvas. So this is, yeah, this is actually probably pretty good for my mum because it should be easy to wipe down. So it is a double zip, which is very good. That would be convenient for my mum. I'm sure she will appreciate the double zip. As I was saying before, she does have the Bria MM and it's in the Vernie. It's, it's in like a Bordeaux kind of color. And that bag she bought from me for a quarter of the price around about six years ago because it just wasn't my style sort of thing anymore. And she had the Totally MM, but um, that, I gave that to her and she ended up selling that bag. And obviously she sort of put the funds towards buying the Bria MM from me. And the Totally MM, if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton, is a tote bag. So I knew that I couldn't get her a tote bag. She wouldn't want it. She needed something that was going to be, you know, like this is a reasonable size. I'm getting my tape measure. The actual length of this is 25 centimeters by 16 centimeters and the width is it's about 11 yeah 10 and a half centimeters so it's a fairly good size and the strap drop, just in case you are considering looking for this bag pre-loved, I might as well give you all the dimensions. It's 26 and a half centimeters, the actual strap drop of this bag. This bag was a B rank, which is um, in good, like it's in good condition. Uh, it believed that the B rank classifies it as having some marks and stains, some sign, has signs of wear. However, it has good functionality and usability. So I definitely agree with this. It does have functionality and usability. There is nothing major that would stop my mother being able to use this bag. 
And in, on close inspection, I can see that it doesn't have any cracks to it, which is really good. I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel of where I actually restore a pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag, a vintage one. So basically I'm gonna do the same things that I, I did in that video. If you are interested, please watch it. I'll link it down below. But I use uh, Black Rocks Leather and Rich, which is a conditioner that is specially for, it's a conditioner and cleaner that is specially for unfinished leathers. And Vachetta leather is technically an unfinished leather. It's a raw hide. of this bag was just under 400 Australian dollars so it is still a really good price for a quite a functional bag it's not too small it's not too big and it's very lightweight and we all know that Louis Vuitton canvas is extremely durable so I think my mum will really enjoy using this bag I'm quite tempted to use it a little bit myself to see if I like the bag and whether I should hunt one for myself pre-loved so I might I may use it a little bit because it's still a couple months until my mother's birthday so yeah, uh, I can actually really feel the difference in this canvas compared to the canvas of like current Louis Vuitton. I'll just get my pochette Matisse bag and see if we can do like a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. So here we have the two Louis Vuitton bags. Obviously you can see which is the pochette Matisse and which is the City MM. Now, if I bring these up close, you see how there's quite a lot of shine to the canvas of the pre-loved vintage bag versus this one. So. From what I understand is that they no longer put a glazed finish on the canvas of modern Louis Vuitton canvas, whereas on the old ones they do, which gives them quite a really good exterior. It makes them a lot more durable, a lot more hardier, and it also gives the canvas a lot more structure. I'll bring them up closer, I've just swapped hands. So you can make this sort of judgment for yourself on the difference in the canvas. This to me looks a lot more matte than the old canvas. Coloring, I don't really see any difference with it. Maybe this is more prominent because it's newer, it's a newer print of the LV, but it's probably more to do with that finished glaze that they've sort of got on the old on the old um, canvas. So I just thought that'd be interesting to do a bit of a up-close comparison. I don't think that there's really anything else I can sort of say. Uh, it is like a pre-loved vintage bag. This bag is no longer produced. It's well and truly discontinued, which really, means like that means that the bag is going to be cheap when you do buy a pre-love because when a bag is discontinued it would no longer hold its value so i don't know what the re the retail price on this was when it was first made i actually don't know the date code of this bag i'll see if i can find it inside the um, date code is in the big pocket just back here and it was fl one zero two two so that would mean that it's made in 2002. So it is six, 17, yeah, 17 years old. Wow, yeah, it's a, oh my gosh, it's a 17 year old bag. So yeah, made in 2002, 17 years old. It is not exactly quite vintage because I believe a bag has to be, or a vintage item has to be at least 20 years old for it to be considered vintage. So it's a few years shy of that. However, I mean, for a 17 year old bag, it's still holding up really well. So you are getting good value from buying a older model Louis Vuitton bag, because the chances are it's probably gonna hold up a lot longer than a lot more of the current um, Louis Vuitton bags that are made, made with canvas. But I don't know that for sure, because obviously the newer canvas has only been around for maybe like a couple years now. So not enough time has passed. There's also a front pocket too. And I thought it'd be worth a mention to say that this looks like it's lined with like a leather. It's not sticky too, which is really good. Some of the old vintage bags have sticky pockets, especially with this kind of interior canvas. That's when I tend to notice that sticky pocket or even this usually has a sticky pocket in some of the old models, but this doesn't, which is really good. So there's quite a lot of functionality from this bag and I think my mother will really, really enjoy it as a birthday present. And I'm sure it's gonna hold up many, many, many more years to come, decades even, and she'll be able to enjoy it for a long while, which I'm happy with. And I am hope that she loves this bag and I may, like I said, give it a little bit of a whirl to see if I like it myself because I am liking that sort of shorter strap drop drop with bags at the moment. I think it's really cute how it kind of sits like that. But anyways, that is all that I have to say. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.